Top five Toyota Tacoma mods for under $150. Most are much less. Well, good morning, everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here, and that's right. Today, I'm gonna go through the top five Tacoma mods for under 150 bucks, just to make the truck a little bit better. Now, first off, we're gonna open the door. We're gonna step inside. We're not actually gonna step inside, but if we were, uh, hopefully we wouldn't have this uh, hand sanitizer bottle laying there. Must have popped out when I shut the door. I would call that aggressive door shutting. Anyway, you can see right inside here, we have the door sill protectors right here. Got them in the front, got them in the back. You can see right there. Of course, the whole point is just to protect primarily for me anyway, the edges right along here, because you can imagine scraping up against this often enough, you're going to start to chip the paint up and just scratch it up, make it look not too good. Now you can get these for $39.99. And by the way, there will be links to all of these uh, in the description below the video. So $39.99, not too much to pay for uh, protection in an area that I think you probably really need it. Next up, we have to walk around to the other side, give you guys a good uh, clear view of what I'm talking about. Pop this open here. And of course, what I'm talking about, no, not these letters, although they're cool, um, is the golf box organizer. This little piece right here, right? Just kind of sits right inside your glove box. Uh, it gives you a place to put stuff. You can see here it's got different partitioned areas, if you will, just to kind of keep things nice and neatly organized in there. Otherwise, you just have this big cavernous hole and everything kind of mixes all together, right? Certainly you've tried to get into your glove box before to find something. Hopefully it's not while there are red lights flashing behind you. And you have to dig through everything that's all stacked in there. Uh, this will help keep everything organized so that you can find things much, much easier. Next up, while we're in here or on this side, all weather floor mats. You know, these are a must. And I gotta say, um, by the way, before I forget, the uh, glove box organizer is $18.99. Um, back to the floor mats. These are all weather floor mats. Um, I did get them from Toyota themselves, so they're OEMs. Um, they have Toyota stamped on them here. They are just awesome. I love them. They fit perfectly. They kind of overlap the door sill area here a little bit, give you a little protection on the side, and of course up the front there. Um, I have them in the back as well. Take a look at that. It is just one piece, goes all the way across the back. Um, just keeps things a heck of a lot cleaner. And I gotta say, Toyota did cheap out when I got my truck, right? This was a 40 some thousand dollar truck. It's a 2020 TRD off-road. Now, in the title itself, you would think, well, if you're gonna take it off-road, you might get muddy and stuff. So you need a little bit more protection in there. Nah, Toyota didn't give me any floor mats at all. Not even those carpeted ones. Now, cost on these, $108.99. Well worth it to me. Let's take a quick look real fast over on the driver's side. Let you see what it looks like over here. And one thing I wanna caution you of, uh, mine is a manual transmission. And you can see I have this like slot cut out here, right? I had to do that because it didn't lay properly um, because I have the manual. They are a little bit different. So if you're driving a manual, just make sure you get the right floor mats, uh, regardless of what you go with, so that they fit in your truck properly. Now, we need to take a journey down the side of the gorgeous voodoo blue beast here um, at the bed. Uh, this is a must have, I think, and that of course is the bed mat. Um, this mat, or this bed rather, is composite. It's just plastic and it's very, very slippery. And right now, given the time of year that we're in, you've probably experienced this. If you don't have a bed mat and you've thrown something in the back of your Tacoma, uh, I shot a video on it a while back where I put stuff back there without a bed mat. Uh, mounted a camera and you could just see stuff slamming and sliding around all over the place back there Kind of made me cringe when I'm driving around right nothing worse than things beating up the inside of your bed This will certainly help again. It, it'll also protect the bottom of the bed a little bit 
um, you know, down here, the bed itself, maybe from scratches, things like that. Although, again, it is a composite bed, so it's not that big a deal um, as far as scratches and things go. It's not really going to get ruined or anything. It's pretty much as strong as steel, I think. Cost on that, $115.90. Um, I will give you a little bit of a tip though. Uh, you can pick up a, just a rubber mat at somewhere like Tractor Supply. It is what I did with my Jeep Gladiator here. That'll cost you probably about 50 bucks or so. So, you know, a little better than half the price. Uh, it, it works just as well. Only problem is it's not going to be a nice custom fit like the stock mat is. And uh, you'll actually have to cut it yourself. Not a big deal. Um, a good sharp carpet knife or any knife will take care of that. Um, next up, and we're going to hop inside for this one. This is probably one of the most convenient ones uh, that we have. By the way, we still don't have the uh, handrail here or the uh, little grab handle to pull yourself in. I'm working on that. I have a company that supposedly, and it's not the one all y'all are thinking of, it's a different company. Um, that says they can supply this. I have one on order. I am impatiently waiting, I guess. But the last thing that I'm going to mention here, and I'll give you guys a little bit of a demonstration as to how easy this is. And this is, of course, um, if you don't have the uh, ram mount system like I have right here, there's a whole video on that. And what I'm talking about is a cell phone holder. You know, we all have cell phones today, right? I mean, if you don't have a cell phone, I'm not sure how you survive. Uh, but this is a Skosh magnetic suction cup uh, cell phone holder. It's the best one that I've ever had, excluding the more expensive RAM mount that I have in the truck now. So as far as installation, it has a suction mount on it. It has a magnet on the other end. Um, you just take it like so. I'll show you here. We're going to try to do this with one hand. Push it up against your window pop the little lever down there and that's it. It's stuck on right there, right? Now with your phone, um, you just need to put this little mag, or not magnetic, but steel metal plate on the back of your phone. Uh, it just is held on by double-sided tape and it works really, really well. I've never had one fail. Um, and then you just go ahead and stick your phone on. Um, of course, it's going to be at a different angle than that. I'm just doing this to uh, to show you guys for demonstration purposes. Um, one uh, note of caution with the magnetic or the suction base, I guess. Um, if you leave your truck sit outside and it's really, really hot, uh, or if it gets really, really cold, that suction base will break free and it will fall down. So if you go with something like this and you're in severe or more extreme temperatures, I guess I would just give it a quick tug. I mean, I'm pulling on it now. You can see it's not coming off of there. But you might give it a quick tug before you slap your phone up there and then have your phone fall off just to make sure that indeed it is uh, firmly stuck to your windshield. Anyway, those are just uh, a few. The top five uh, Toyota Tacoma mods for under $150. Well worth it, I think. And most of them, as I mentioned, are well under $150. In case you're curious, all of them can be had for $315. That's the grand total of all of those. So if you're looking to purchase the whole kit and caboodle, uh, there you go, $315. And right now, given that we're in the holidays, or if you're a Prime member, I suppose, uh, you're not going to pay any shipping, so that'll be it. And I find that all of these are usually in stock, so they're not difficult to get. Anyway, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Do you have any of these? I'm sure you probably do. They're very popular, I know. Let me know if you like them. Also, real quick, if you're interested, check out my other channel. It is all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator sitting right out there. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.